Guess what? It's moving day! Moving day! This is so weird. Dubai apartment Bye. has been a great run. Four years living together. MTV, welcome to my crib. Let me give you guys a little tour. <laughs> right when you walk in, of course, you're gonna notice all my cleaning supplies that I brought over with me, but I love this little feature right here of all these shelves. Not only can I decorate and put some cute stuff there, but also clearly I'm gonna wanna throw my keys and my phone right there, so I love this. There's also like a little nook right here to take your shoes off and they're kind of out of the way. Love that so much. Then this long skinny hallway that will take you to the living room and the kitchen, but we walk on over. What I love so much about this is even though it's a studio apartment, Technically, it does come with a door that separates the bedroom from everything else, and it's on this little sliding frame. Slide it open, and there's my room. Here is the bedroom, and it's cool because it does have a wall that separates, but as you can see, the wall doesn't go all the way to the ceiling, so I get some of that natural light coming in as well, which I really, really like, because obviously there's not a window in here because there is a wall that separates. Come back to this nice skinny hallway, we have the living room and the kitchen. Oh, I love this so much. There's so much natural lighting coming through right here. This is a huge win for me. And actually for being in the city, I have a pretty good view of like some foliage and some trees behind me, which is amazing. I'm not staring at someone else's apartment complex or any construction, at least at this time. So it's kind of awesome. It's crazy how so many modern apartments that are being built now just like all look the exact same. Um, these are like the exact same cabinets I had in my last place, but I don't even care. It kind of makes it feel even more normal and the same basically. So yeah, I'm so happy. This is crazy. I walked over to this sandwich shop and picked up a sandwich and a Diet Dr. Pepper because if you know, you know. Packing and moving really takes it out of you. Kneel on the floor because I have no chairs right now. This island, it's really cool. It's actually on wheels so I can move it, but there's not enough. It's like the ledge is like this wide. So I can't fit a chair under there. So I don't know if I have to get like a little small kitchen table or something. Lots going through my brain right now. Holy moly. That looks delicious. I got ham, cheese, tomato, spinach, and Dijon mustard. 
Mm. I am so tired. It has been a week of just absolute chaos, to say the absolute least. And I feel like I am running off of just like a handful of hours of sleep because my mattress has been on the floor for the last like two weeks. Week, I don't even, time isn't real anyways. Everything is out of place in my life. I can't find anything. I don't know where anything is. I am working with like one half of the counter space that I had in my last apartment. So everything in my life right now is just like a little bit flip turned upside down. You know, Will Smith said it best. So I'm just trying to find a sense of normalcy in the midst of all this. So today I'm off of work and I woke up early because I told myself I was gonna have a productive day. I was gonna start tackling the mess and the unorganization and the things that need to be unpacked. I told myself not only was today going to be a productive day, but I was also going to make myself feel like a human because for the last few days I've been feeling like a robot because I've just been like on autopilot. I've just been like, go, go, go. I haven't really taken the time to do my makeup or put a cute outfit on or do anything like that. Take myself out for coffee. So I'm doing all of that today. You guys also know how much clutter and mess personally affects me. I talk about it a lot when I'm doing like room cleaning videos or whatever. Like I just don't do well in a messy cluttered environment. So obviously it's inevitable with a move, but I've been doing so many things in and around this move that I just have not had time to do anything. I know that I said it was 30 degrees outside, but iced coffees still remain elite, even when it's very cold outside. I got a nitro cold brew with vanilla syrup and oat milk. Delish. Slay. toasty in here. It's the way that I could shop for glasses and containers for my entire life. I don't know what it is. I just love a good container. Like, obsessed. I want to buy one of everything, but I need to chill. I'm obsessed with this little jar. So cute. Somehow, I always get the loud card. Somehow. Always, no matter where I am, the loud card. I have a little bit of a problem. The mirror doesn't fit. <laughs> Let's see what we can do. I think I'm gonna literally have to bring it like on the center console, which is a little dangerous, but it's the best I'm working with right now. I just can't get over how good this lighting is. I'm so thankful for this floor to ceiling window. So good. Okay, I also realized when I got back from Ikea yesterday that I did not give you guys a haul of what I got. So I'm gonna do that right now. I ended up buying one of their blue bags because I desperately needed it and Let's go through it, let me show you what I got. Starting off, I wanted to have some like really nice mature adult drinking glasses. I had stemless wine glasses when I moved into my first apartment with Logan. I gave those away to her because I didn't really like them and I don't know, your style changes from when you are 22 to when you're 27. So I'm not gonna try to pronounce any of this by the way because of Ikea. Um, I got these four drinking glasses. I think they are beautiful. 
I think you can use them for any kind of beverage, cocktail, mocktail, Olipop, Diet Coke, whatever you want. Um, but it is these, and I'm obsessed with them. Look at this. It's so fancy. Like, I really just want to have an Olipop in here and just sip on it. Such a beautiful glass. I definitely can see myself holding onto these for several years. Yes, it's very shallow. Like, you can't fit a lot in here, but I love them. I got one of their classic larger jars. I feel like this will come in handy at some point. I grabbed one of their containers, their glass containers. I have a really good collection of glass containers already for like food storage and things like that. This one just really struck my eye because it was so deep and I don't have any like that. So I thought it was a must have. Speaking of containers, I did get one of these glass ones as well. This looks like a baking pan, but honestly it is food storage. And I like to clean my romaine and then put it in something. So I decided to get a glass container for that. And it does come with a lid, one of these lids as well. For the top, it's like an airtight seal. Remember when I was moving out and I was complaining of all the stuff I had and I kept saying, how on earth does one person have so much stuff? I want you guys to bully me in the comments right now and say, Kayla, you have a problem with buying stuff and that's why you have so much stuff. But honestly, all of my purchases are rational. I, I really try to buy things that I actually genuinely need or I'm buying a newer, better version of something else that I can get rid of or donate to somebody else. I got this, I'm pretty sure this is a like handheld mandolin 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 to thinly sliced vegetables i've been wanting this something like this for a while actually just like a little handheld version of it this is its i think that's its name in the corner but just a little handheld vegetable slicer i got this fake plant because you can never have enough fake plants it has a little like blue tinted greenish tealish jar plant holder that it came with um i just really like this setup so gotta love a fake plant I got a pizza cutter because I actually didn't have one. It was Logan, so I needed my own. I grabbed this wooden bowl. I think this is very cute. And I needed something to have like produce storage for on top of the counter. So like lemons, limes, potatoes, onions, things like that. Um, the only other one was one like this big. So I opted for the smaller one because I'm only one person. This I had been eyeing for a while. And again, like another great thing for food prep and cleaning my produce. This is like an adjustable strainer. So you can actually set it to fit around your sink. So when I'm like cleaning blueberries and strawberries and things like that, I can just put her there. So really think this is useful and helpful. Big fan. And then I just grabbed two more wood cutting boards because I only have one wood cutting board and I just wanted to add two more to my collection. So one shaped like this like paddle and then this one. So just like a plain wood cutting board. And lastly, this is like the drinking glasses, little sister, cousin, whatever. I think this is just more of like a decorative glass. So I can imagine myself putting little candies in there. I act like I'm hosting like a million people, but it's really just me. But it is this guy and it's just like a cute little decorative piece. I think because like growing up, my mom would always have like little dishes of candy or I would go to my aunt's house and she would always have dishes of like jelly beans or little like Hershey Kisses. I just like love a decorative dish where you can like put things in. So look at that, adorable, adorable. It's basically the same thing just with a lid. Also my biggest, literally my biggest purchase from ikea i mean so large you guys saw me put it in my car yesterday in the vlog i did get the hovet hovet mirror i don't know how you pronounce it it's this guy it is still in my little entryway down that way because it's so tall i have yet to put it in the living room but i think i am going to put it in the living room to make the space appear bigger and also just to do like little outfits of the day i wanted like a nice full length mirror and that one while it is relatively expensive at like 170 dollars, it's actually relatively cheap in the world of mirrors mirrors are extremely expensive so for that height size quality and good reviews it's actually pretty affordable in like the world of mirrors tbd where that goes i've been thinking about putting it in my bedroom but because my bedroom doesn't get a lot of natural lighting i feel like having a mirror in there really doesn't do any justice and i also still have that gold mirror that my mom and i diy'd a few years ago and that was like a whole vlog and video in itself i do want to keep that in my room i just don't have a dresser to put it on anymore so i may end up just like putting it on the floor or something like that um to be determined though those are more of like the nitty gritty to decorating when I really just need to like organize and clean things as of now. So that's the Ikea haul. Time to get into cleaning and organizing the kitchen.